Atul Prasad Sen Bengali, Achala Prasada Sena the 20th of October 1871 to the 26th of August 1934 was a Bengali composer, lyricist and singer and also a lawyer, philanthropist, social worker, educationist and literateur. Topic: Early life Atul Prasad Sen was born as the eldest child of Ram Prasad Sen and Hamanta Shushi, in a Vaidya Brahmin family from the village Magar in South Bikrampur, Faridpur district, presently located in Bangladesh. Atul was born in his maternal uncle's house in Dhaka, following the custom at that time. His maternal grandfather Kali Narayan Gupta initiated Atul Prasad into music and devotional songs. Atul Prasad's mother later married Brahmo Samaj reformer Durga Mohan Das in June 1890. Initially, Atul Prasad could not accept this marriage. In due course of time, his relationship became very congenial with Durga Mohan and Hamanda Shushi. Sarala Devi recounted in her diary Jaibanera Jarapada fallen leaves of life that Durga Mohan, after the death of his wife Brahmomoyi, in spite of his busy outward life, took great care of his children. It was his elder daughter Abala, whose eager and consistent effort towards the well-being of her aging father convinced Durga Mohan to marry Hamanta Shushi. Durga Mohan extended every possible care to his step-children too, and treated them as his own children. <laughs> <laughs> Education After passing the entrance examination in 1890, Atul Prasad was admitted to Presidency College in Kolkata, and in the same year in the month of November took a voyage to England to study law. In London he befriended Sri Aurobindo Ghosh, Chittaranjan Das, Sarojini Naidu and Dwajendralal Ray. <laughs> <laughs> Early profession, Phase 1, Calcutta After becoming a barrister, he returned to Bengal in 1894 and joined with Satendra Prasanno Sinha, Lord Sinha, as a bar at law. Successively he opened up law practice in Kolkata in a rented apartment in 82 Circular Road. When his stepfather Durgamohan died on 19 December 1897, he opened practice in Rangpur Court, the High Court at Calcutta, which used to be known as the High Court of Judicature at Fort William in Bengal, was established and formally opened on 1 July 1862. Atul Prasad was called to the bar in Calcutta High Court in 1895. He was a member of the Bar Library Club of Calcutta High Court. It was mentioned in the High Court of Calcutta 125th Anniversary Souvenir 1862 to 1987. The ecstatic resonance of Atul Prasad Sen's 1896 lyrics is heard in every Bengali home. Again, the poet of the Song of the Ocean, Sagara Sangeet, in his Vaishnavite melody surrendered himself completely to the Almighty. The High Court at Calcutta 150 years, an overview remembered Atul Prasad in this fashion. Atul Prasad Sen, 1896, a member of the club, was a poet, lyricist, composer, and a lawyer all molded in one, whose songs and poems inspired many a young heart in pre independence days and are cherished even today. Marriage <laughs> 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 Atul Prasad married his cousin sister Hem Kusum, daughter of Krishna Govinda Gupta, ICS and Prasanna Tara Gupta. The marriage was disapproved by their family members. The couple wedded at Gretna Old Parish Church, Gretna Green, Scotland, under the Scottish law in the year 1900. However, Atul Prasad had a troubled married life. The emotional sufferings he experienced in his life found their ways into his lyrics, and this has made many of his songs full of pathos. His twin sons, born in 1901, were Dilip Kumar and Neelip Kumar. Neelip died after six months of his birth. <laughs> profession, Phase 2, Lucknow After his marriage Atul Prasad started practicing law at Old Bailey, London and continued for a very short duration. Then with the help of Bipin Bihari Basu and upon advised by his friend Mumtaj Hussain, an advocate in Lucknow, he came back to India in 1902. He chose the province of Oudh as his field of activity and moved to Lucknow.
Topic activities in Lucknow Literary activities In 1922 the first conference of Bengali literary personages outside Bengal Prabhasi Banga Sahitya Samelan, presently known as Nikhil Bharat Banga Sahitya Samelan, was organized at Benaras with patronage from distinguished Bengalis living outside Bengal Prabhasis like Atul Prasad Sen, Radha Kamal Mukherjee, Kedar Nath Bindiopadhyay and Mahendra Chandra Roy, which was presided over by Rabindranath Tagore. Atul Prasad initiated and edited Uttara, the Bengali magazine of the organization, to keep alive the Bengali culture among the Bengali diaspora. Later, he presided over its Kanpur and Gorakhpur conventions. He was also editor of Allahabad Law Journal and Awa Weekly Notes. Bengali Club of Lucknow Since 1903 Atul Prasad served the Bengali Club of Lucknow, which was founded by Atul Krishna Singh, as the president. In 1929, he initiated the idea of merging of the Bengali Club and the Young Men's Association of Lucknow, and thus emerged a new organization to be known as Bengali Club and Young Men's Association. A photograph of Atul Prasad is uploaded in the website of the club. Political activities Atul Prasad played an active role in national politics between 1905 and 1921. He was a close associate of Gopal Krishna Gokhale. In 1905, when Gokhale was elected president of the Indian National Congress and was at the height of his political power, he founded the Servants of India Society to specifically further one of the causes dearest to his heart, the expansion of Indian education. Atul Prasad was sympathetic to nationalistic movement and extended his support and generosity to Congress Party and Servants of India Society founded by Gopal Krishna Gokhale. He joined Indian National Congress and represented OUDH in several annual conventions. He acted as vice chairman of Lucknow Municipal Corporation. In 1917 he joined in the Liberal Party. Other social activities he actively took part in conversion of Lucknow Canning College founded by Raja Dakshina Ranjan Mukhopadhyay to Lucknow University and acted as a member of the first executive committee. He extended aid to many educational institutions. Atul Prasad Sen Memorial Girls College, Lucknow, established in 1902 under the name Mahalaki Pathshala, humbly bears the name of its principal patron. From Mahakali Pathshala, the name was changed to Haramati Balika Vidyalaya. In 1933, it received temporary recognition for high school and intermediate from UP board. It was at this time it acquired the name Jubilee Girls School. In 1944, the school received permanent recognition for high school. It advanced to an inter college in 1947, and to a degree college in 1955. Residents at Lucknow Atul Prasad built his residence in Kasharbag area at Lucknow, which was located next to the labor court complex. The cost of the building was around 33,000 Indian rupee. The building was demolished and does not exist now. It is so unfortunate that such a nice specimen of colonial architecture, the famous residence of Atul Prasad Sen which witnessed visit of so many distinguished personalities of pre-independent India, is no more. A photograph of the house is available in the website of Sri Ramakrishna Math and Ramakrishna Mission Sevashrama, Lucknow. The A.P. Sen Road, running in front of the residence, was named after him during his lifetime. This road still runs in Sharbag area of Lucknow. Topic. Music Atul Prasad used fast-paced Hindustani tunes like Kale, Thumri and Dadra skillfully, and was able to add an element of spontaneity on occasions when the tune has transcended the lyrics. Atul Prasad is credited with introducing the Thumri style in Bengali music. He also pioneered introduction of ghazals in Bengali. Atul Prasad's acquaintances with maestros in Urdu and Persian ghazal inspired him to experiment this particular style to be brought into Bengali music. He created around six or seven ghazals in Bengali and pioneered a stream of Bengali music which was later enriched profusely by contribution of Qazi Nasrul Islam. Atul Prasad's introduction of the raga to the Bangla songs had a significant impact on Bengali music, and influenced the songs of Qazi Nasrul Islam and other raga based modern songs. The songs created by him are known as Achala Prasadara Gana. Atul Prasad's song. Atul Prasad's song Achala Prasadara Ganda Atul Prasad wrote 212 poems and except a few most of the poems were used as song. Unfortunately none of the songs were dated. Only three among these 212 poems were titled 
Argya Sagarabaks Yatsnasundari Pratyabhartana Atul Prasad himself, in his book Gitaguna Gitaigunja, arranged his songs into five broad categories, Debata Devotional, Prakirti Nature, Subhadesa Patriotic, Manaba Humanity and Babita others. He did not explicitly categorize any of his songs into the category of love. However, many of his songs, having multi-layered association of deep emotional sentiments, bloom into expression of love and lug deep shadow of sadness, which was his constant companion. <laughs> Devotional songs Atul Prasad was a follower of Bamo faith, which was initiated in Calcutta in 1828 by Raja Ram Mohan Roy and Dwarkanath Tagore as reformation of the prevailing Brahmanism of the time. Atul Prasad created many songs devoted to Brahmo faith. Also, some of his compositions are dedicated to faith of Vaishnavism, worshipper of Lord Vishnu or Sri Krishna Hari, Shaivism, worshipper of Lord Shiva Siva, and Shaktism, where the metaphysical reality is considered feminine, Mother Kali or Mother Universal Sakti. He employed variety of folk tunes in his compositions, apart from using classical ragas, Kirtana Kirtan, Baula Bal, Patiali Vaishali, and Ramaprasadi Ramprasadi tunes were prominent among them. Parain Tamare Dakini Hi Hari Kirtana Yadi Dukara Lagia Garesha Amaya Sukha Ami Nahi Kai Kirtana Patriotic songs Atul Prasad helped to awaken nationalism in colonial India by creating various patriotic songs. During his first voyage to England in 1890, Atul Prasad passed through Italy and, being inspired by the tune of the gondola rowers' song in Venice, he composed his patriotic song Yutha Go Bharata Laxmi The movement against the partition of Bengal during 1905–11 inspired creation of patriotic songs which helped in propagation of Swadeshi movement ideologies. Rabindranath Tagore, Atul Prasad Sen, Dwajendralal Roy, Rajanikanta Sen, Makunda Das, Kamini Kumar Bhattacharya, Aswini Kumar Datta, Manmohan Chakravarti, Satish Chandra Banerjee, and many others composed various patriotic songs in support of the movement. In 1916, All India Congress Convention was held in Lucknow, and Atul Prasad actively participated in the program, contributing a song that stressed upon harmony between Hindu and Muslims, Dekha Ma Ibara Diara Kul Gale. Gale Enu Ma Tora Hindu Musalamana Dui Chel Look, O Mother, we have come hand in hand, two of your children, Hindu and Musalman. Hindustan Record Company produced a record in the 1930s with the song, Yutha Go Bharata Laxmi, on one side, and on the other side it was, How Dharmete Dira. Ideology of unity in diversity and Indian pluralism was conceived and urged by Atul Prasad in this song. Atul Prasad was an ardent believer and fearless preacher of Indian reawakening. He wrote The following song, venerating the Bengali language, played an equally significant inspirational role in the struggle for independence of India in 1947 as well as in the struggle for liberation of Bangladesh during 1971. Madara Garaba Madara Asa Amari Banla Basa Mago Tamara Kol Tamara Bol Katai Santi Balobasa Our Pride Our Hope, O Thy Our Bengali Language. Classical based songs Atul Prasad pioneered in creation of ghazals in Bengali. Bana Dul Mora Kal Alo Hate Who Has Come to My Derelict House with a Lamp in Hand? Ghazal Classical based songs of Atul Prasad were reflections of his extensive exposure and profound expertise in Indian classical music. Some examples of such compositions are Ki era kahiba balo what more shall I ask for, Raga Bhairabi, Tapa Kale Ogo Nithura Dharati O the Merciless, Raga Mixed Ashabari Dadra, Tap Thumri Yabo na Yabo na Gari I won't go home, Thumri Banda Daro Daro Mala O oh My Friend, Take the Garland, Raga Kalinga Tabu Tamaya Daki Bear Bear Yet I Call You, Raga Sindhu Kafi <laughs> Noted rendition of Atul Prasad's song Sahana Devi, Autl Prasad's cousin, edited and published 70 songs, along with her staff notations, in Kakali in two volumes. 
In 1922 Sahana Devi and Harendranath Chattopadhyay recorded Atul Prasad's song in Gramophone Company's record. In 1932 three recording companies having Indian ownership were born in Calcutta, one of which was Hindustan Music Products Limited, founded by Khandi Sharan Saha. Khandi Sharan approached Rabindranath Tagore for contributing his voice in the first record under the banner of Hindustan Records. In July 1932, Rabindranath Tagore sang, Tabu Main Reko in the house No. 6 over 1, Akrur Data Lane near Subodh Malik Square. The second record consisted of two songs sung by Atul Prasad Sen, being the only instance the poet recorded his voice. Atul Prasad sang, Michi Tui Babi Samana, Tui Gana Gaya Gana Gaya Ajabana, and Yani Yani Tamare Go Rangarani Sunya Kari Lib Mama Chittakani. The third one with two songs was sung by Ranuka Dasgupta ne Sengupta, one of which was Pagala Manatare Tui Bamda, a song written by Atul Prasad. Yadi Tora Hrdayamuna Jadi Tor Rajamuna Tilda Harendranath Chattopadhyay 1937 HMV Se Dek Amare Se Dek Amare Tilda Pahari Sanyal 1970. Film Aranyar Din Ratri directed by Satyajit Ray. Since the day of creation to the present day, the songs of Atul Prasad remain very popular and close to the heart of Bengal. His songs are being used in Bengali films even today. Many eminent singers have sung and recorded his songs, and the trend is continuing. Atul Prasad's songs in Bengali films Topic. Friends, relatives and acquaintances Rabindranath Tagore A deep friendship grew between Rabindranath and Atul Prasad. Rabindranath Tagore initiated Kamkayali Sabha along with Gaganendranath Tagore at Jorasako, and its meeting on February 5, 1897 was attended by Atul Prasad Sen and Chittaranjan Das, among other dignitaries. In July 1897 Atul Prasad hosted the meeting of the Kamkayali Sabha in his house at Wellesley Mansion, Kolkata. Rabindranath Tagore's first visit to Lucknow was on invitation from Atul Prasad in 1914. Tagore was accompanied by Andrews Charles Freer Andrews, popularly known as Dinabanda Andrews and Atul Prasad joined with them at Tagore's cottage at Ramgar, which the poet bought on May 10, 1914. In June, 1914 Tagore came to Lucknow from Ramgar, and enjoyed the hospitality of Atul Prasad, and returned to Calcutta on 14 June 1914. Atul Prasad mentioned this event in his memoirs and recapitulated, He invited me to stay with him at Ramgar for some days. I came hurriedly from Lucknow to Ramgar. One day there was heavy rain which continued late in the night. We had an assembly of rainy season on that day. From afternoon till at ten o'clock at night, the poet Rabindranath recited poems written by him one after another and sung many songs of rainy season. I couldn't forget that day. At about eight in the night our dinner was made ready. The daughter and daughter-in-law of the poet was waiting at the door, but neither the poet nor any of us could take notice of them. In that sitting Rabindranath requested me, Atul, will you please sing a Hindi song of your locality? I sang. Maharaja Koriya Kolo, Risaki Bund Pair. It was a timely song, and everybody liked it. The poet accompanied me in the song. Even the song touched Andrews who was ignorant of the song. He accompanied me loudly with his strange pronunciation and wrong-tuned voice. Tagore's journey to Japan and other countries of the Far East was due on May 3, 1916. Many relatives, friends, well-wishers, organizations and followers arranged for farewell ceremonies. Atul Prasad arranged one such farewell gathering in his house in Calcutta on April 27, 1916. Kalidas Nag wrote, Gathering was held in the house of Atul Babu situated at Wellesley Mansion. The poet, Gagan Babu, Abani Babu, Dinu Babu and others were present. The gathering was fine, with fountain of songs. On 28th farewell was arranged in Mayo Hospital organized by Dr. Dwajendranath Moitra. Dinu Babu and the poet sung traditional songs and patriotic songs. It was wonderful. Tagore's second visit to Lucknow was during March 5 10, 1923, when he addressed the convocation of Lucknow University. Tagore was basically traveling across India on a lecture tour to raise money for Visva Virati. 
Atul Prasad arranged a musical durbar in his honour and invited famous Indian classical singers of Lucknow at his residence. Tagore, while proceeding further to Bombay en route to Ahmedabad by train, composed a song, appreciating the event. Tamara Sesira Ganera Risa Nye Kane Kale Isechi Ogo Kiu Ki Taj Sukumar Ray Sukumar Ray was a great friend of Atul Prasad. During his college life, he initiated the nonsense club whose magazine was named as Tu Baha. Ser Batrisabha. He visited England during 1911-13 England on the Guru Prasanna Ghosh scholarship to study photography and printing technology, and at that time he became very close to Atul Prasad Sen and many others. After returning from England Sukumar formed Mande Club, a literary gathering of contemporary Bengali writers, which had such noted personalities as Satendranath Dutta, Suniti Kumar Shatterjee, Atul Prasad Sen, Kalidas Nag, Prasanta Chandra Mahalanobis, Drive. Dwajendranath Maitra and Prabhat Kumar Mukhopadhyay as members. Sukumar married Suprabha Das, granddaughter of Kali Narayan Gupta on December 13, 1919, and a family relation thus was developed between them. Dilip Kumar Roy Dilip Kumar Roy the 22nd of January 1897 to the 6th of January 1980 was a Bengali Indian musician, musicologist, novelist, poet, essayist, and was an ardent follower of Sri Aurobindo. He was the son of Dwajendralal Ray. In 1922, while young Dilip Kumar was on a tour studying Indian classical music from various great masters, he came to Lucknow, and here in the house of Atul Prasad Sen he met Ronald Nixon, a professor at Lucknow University, who introduced Dilip to ideologies of Sri Aurobindo. Dilip Kumar became a close collaborator of Atul Prasad, and immensely contributed, along with pursuing in versatile field of activities, in popularizing Atul Prasad's songs. Note on date of event, 1922. Pahari Sanyal Pahari Sanyal, whose real name was Najendranath, came to Lucknow to join Maris College as a student of Hindustani classical music. Young Najendranath was immediately drawn very close to Atul Prasad because of his unbound passion to classical music and became a regular visitor to his house. He witnessed and took active part in many of Atul Prasad's notable creations. Later, he was known, apart from being an outstanding luminary in the world of Bengali cinema, as one of the best exponents of Atul Prasad's song. He recorded several songs of Atul Prasad later. Note on date of event, 1926-28. Maris College of Music, Lucknow, later known as Bhatkande Music Institute University was established by Sri Vishnu Narayan Bhatkande in 1926. Pahari Sanyal's visit to Atul Prasad's house may be dated around 1926-28. Kumar Prasad Mukherjee Kumar Prasad Mukherjee quoted from his father Durjati Prasad Mukherjee's memoir Main Elo, Mon Elo. I heard Abdul Karim when he was at the peak of his powers. It was a few days after the death of Deshbandu C. R. Das. What an extraordinary gathering that was, Rabindranath Tagore, Mahatma Gandhi, Atul Prasad Sen and Sharat Chandra Chatterjee, the novelist, all were there in Dilip Kumar Roy's house, Tagore's appreciation was Sacha, true. He would close his eyes and be lost to the world. Atul Prasad got so carried away on occasions that he had to be controlled. Note on date of event, 1925-26 after demise of Chittaranjan Das on 16 June 1925. Sachin Dev Burman Sachin Dev Burman mentioned in his memoirs, Shamlal Babu was a famous and very popular harmonium player and thumri singer, and from him I learnt thumri. He introduced me to noted singer Garija Kishore Chakravarti and Durjati Prasad Mukhopadhyay of Lucknow. Later, Durjati Babu introduced me to learned Atul Prasad Sen. Atul Prasad was very pleased to hear my songs. During that time I got acquainted with film director Sidirendra Sanyal and subsequently joined new theatres. Even when I started working as an independent composer, Atul Prasad wrote songs for me, and used to appreciate my songs with all his heart. Satyajit Ray Satyajit Ray had a lasting impression of Atul Prasad, his maternal uncle, on him. He remembered Atul Prasad, indulging in a great display of Urdu manners. In his memoir, he wrote, I have a few memories of a visit to Lucknow, where we stayed first with my mother's cousin, Atul Prasad Sen, and then with his sister, whom I called Chutki Mashi. There was always music in Atul Mama's house, for he was a lyricist and composer. Often he would get my mother to learn his songs, then write the words down for her in her black notebook. 
Ravi Shankar's guru, Aladdin Khan, used to stay in Atul Mama's house at that time. I heard him play the piano occasionally. One day, the well-known singer of those times, Sri Krishan Ratanjankar, visited us and sang his famous song, Bhavani Dayani, set in Bharavi. Atul Mama wrote a new song, Shuna, Shay Deki Ameri Listen, he's calling out to me, based on Bhavani Dayani. Mira Chodrasiddhartha Ghosh in his book Chabi Tulla, Banalira Photography Karka Taking Pictures, The Practice of Photography by Bengalis published an interview with Mira Choudhury, a noted photographer of early 20th century. Mira was born in 1905 and all through her childhood she met her father's Dwajendralil Maitra, a well-known doctor famous friends, the composer Atulprasad Sen, Sukumar Ray, and many others who visited the family at their quarters at Mayo Hospital, where her father was employed. Bimal Mukherjee Bimal Mukherjee was only 23 years of age when he started touring the world in 1926 in his bicycle. He returned in 1937 and published his memoir Du Kakaya Dunia Duchake Dunia, where he mentioned that in 1928 he met Atul Prasad in England. I met the famous poet, musician, and barrister Atul Prasad Sen. He asked me whether I can sing. He was sorry to hear that I cannot. I frequented his house occasionally with my friend Ranjit Kumar Sen Tulu, and enjoyed his songs. His great character fascinated me. He was amiable, intelligent, and having good taste. He used to sing Thumri with all his emotions. In one such visit I heard Dilip Kumar Roy also singing along with Atul Prasad in his Cromwell Road house. Death Atul Prasad died at Lucknow on August 26, 1934 at an age of 63 years. He was buried at the Brahmo temple of Kaoradi, Kaoradi Brahma Mandira Sripur subdivision of Ghazapur district, Dhaka division, established by Sir Krishna Govinda Gupta in his estate in 1893. Considering his failing health, on May 3, 1930, much before his demise, Atul Prasad signed off his will, which was revealed after his death. Apart from monthly stipends for his wife and son, he provided financial assistance to Hamanta Siva Sadan of Ramakrishna Sevashram, Sadaran Bhamo Samaj of Kolkata, Nabo Bidan Brahmo Samaj of Dhaka, Panchapali Gururam High School of Faridpur, Lucknow Bengali Club and Young Men's Association, Lucknow Bengali Girls School, Muslim Orphanage in Mumtaj Park of Lucknow, several orphanages of Hindu and Arya Samaj and various other charity organizations. All the property he dedicated towards charity included his residence at Sharbag, Lucknow, all land property, all furnitures and collection of books, motor car, cash certificates, shares, life insurance and all royalty from his creations and compositions. Rabindranath Tagore wrote a poem on September 4, 1934 in memory of Atul Prasad. The poem was included in Gitaigunja, in its 1957 edition. Legacy The Lal Bahadur Shastri National Academy of Administration, Missouri, LBSNAA adopted the song, How Dharmate Dira How Karamete Bura How Unata Sira Nahi Baya, How Dharmate Dir, How Karamit Beer, How Unato Shir Nahi Bay as the Academy Song of the Institute. Topic Bibliography Das Gupta, Binayandranath, 1971. Atul Prasad, Memoirs of Atul Prasad Sen, Bhagarth, Kolkata. Debi, Sahana, Posh 1336. Kakali Achala Prasada Kakoli The Notation Book of the Songs Written by Atul Prasad Sen, Garudas Chattopadhyay and Sons, Asterisk Calcutta. Ghosh, Nuparchanda, Abhismarania Achala Prasada Abhismarania Atul Prasad, Bangyo Sahitya Parishad, Kolkata. Ghosh, Sunilmoy. Achala Prasada Samagra Atul Prasad Samagra, Sahityam, Kolkata. Ghosh, Sunilmoy. Achala Prasada Samagra Atul Prasad Samagra, Home, Amal. Achala Smrita Katha Atul Smrita Katha, Majumdar, Nila, 2016. Amiyo Ikaki Tumiyo Ikaki Amio Ikaki Tumiyo Ikaki, Ananda Bazar Patrika, January 23, 2016. Mukhopadhyay, Manasi, 1931. Atul Prasad, A Biography, Signet Bookshop, Calcutta 12. Mukhopadhyay, Manasi, 1971. Atul Prasad, Parabeshak, Kolkata. Roy, Dilip Kumar. 
Achala Prasada Manusa Kabi Bhakta Atul Prasad, Manush, Kobi, Bhakta, Kolkata. Roy, Dilip Kumar, 1938. Sangitiki Sangitiki, Calcutta University, Kolkata. Roy, Dilip Kumar, Sarela, Kolkata. Sanyal, Pahari, 2012. Manusa Achala Prasada Manush Atul Prasad, Saptarshi Prakashan, Kolkata. Sen, Atul Prasad Sen Kayakati Gana Kayakti Gan. Sadaran Brahmo Samaj, Calcutta. Sen, Atul Prasad, 1931. Gitaguna Gitaigunja, published by Jyotirindranath Das, Secretary, Sadaran Brahmo Samaj, 211 Cornwallis Street, Calcutta 6. 1931, Calcutta, it was a collection of 193 songs created by Atul Prasad Sen, and eight songs were included in a later edition after the death of the poet, published in 1957. Shom, Chauvin, 2002. Achala Prasada Senera Shrestha Kabita Atul Prasad Senar Shresto Kabita, Barbie, Kolkata.